Welcome back everybody. Two new updates. For camera assistant, right now the camera assistant is able to support one year eight or higher. I mean, we know there is a one year 8.5, but it's only a leak build. For the Flip 7 Fold 7 and the S25 FE. Now, some people ask me, is this a useful tool? I do believe it is. I'm gonna showcase. And also, very important guys, there is a new version of Samsung One UI Home released on the 29th of September. So how do we check this? You go here about home screen. The version right now is 17.05.19. So there is a new version. Okay, I'm gonna hit update and hopefully I'm gonna be able to now update it. So I'm gonna click update. Guys, the only change log here is that they fixed some errors and that they improved this stability, all right? Like my favorite Samsung change logs all the way. I mean, you don't really know what has happened, but they're doing the right thing. Well, yeah, the latest version right now is 17.0061. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some settings, I'm gonna show you the camera assistant, and of course, I'm gonna show you the animations, but for that, I need to close everything. So now, nothing inside the recent menu, all right? And the first thing I am going to test is this thing here. All right, by the way, home app is not enabled. I'm going to late enable it as well. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good, second time, always a charm. Anyway, I'm shooting this 4K60, so you can judge by yourself. What about the animations, guys? Honestly, Almost no issues with this since the One UI 8 update. I do believe this is fairly better and it's fairly more responsive. So we can see right now, uh, everything really works uh, absolutely smooth. This is really like the way it's supposed to be, right? So I can just keep doing this all day. And it was all about consistency. If you have been following my channel, you know, probably know that this was the big issue that I had with something animations. Not that they were bad, but when I was doing this like 10 times, it would start, let's say, two out of 10 times, which is not good, right? Right now, I do believe with one year eight, this is the stable version, by the way, the BYI3, this one is pretty, pretty good. So animation wise, I guess nothing here. And of course, it's only a bug fix and stability improvement. I want to show you also good luck, guys. I got some questions around good luck modules. And yeah, in fact, all of them work. The home app in particular. And I'm going to show you what I'm using home app for. So pay attention now when I enable my home app. And this is here from the gesture setting. There is a blur animation tuning. This is what I use right now. Without this, guys, you can see there is no blur applied on the background. When I open the app, I want to have a blur on the icons. This is really good. Like, yeah. Maybe there is like kind of like a little stutter, so blur on all the icons here. When I disable the setting, you can see that the blur is only applied on the background, but the icons are not blurred. I want to have it in that way. I want to get blur on my icons. Also, from the home gesture animation tuning, you can go and use elegance, right? It's a whole other set of animations. Very good also, by the way, if that's your thing right now for this video, I'm gonna keep this just to show you, all right? I wanna demonstrate how the new home app works. Again, we don't really expect any changes there, but I wanted to show you still so dynamic, okay? You wanna have your things dynamic. You can see, I mean, this almost works like a OnePlus phone. It's very fluid, by the way. All right, and there are a few more options. So there is the sweet one. It will melt away like cotton candy. I mean, yeah, if you have time to waste, that's probably the one for you. Honestly, guys, I do prefer either the classic one, which is this, all right, or what I do prefer is just disable this and use absolutely like the stock ones and only like apply some blur on the icons and the background. Now, because I promised you, camera assistant guys, when you install it, you go inside your settings, you click your settings, it's gonna be something called camera assistant. So what can you do from here? Plenty of things. So zoom shortcuts, 2, 10, and 100X, auto HDR, I can decide to turn off the auto HDR. Three options for picture softening, off, medium, and high. So maybe if you wanna get medium, it's kind of like a good setting. Auto lens switching, guys. This is very good. With this disabled, my phone is always used like the 1X main sensor, 2X crop from the main, 3X and 5X, right? When you use like this, then the camera is going to think that for you and use the best lens, okay? Distortion correction. Also, high resolution settings like adaptive pixel, like upscale digital zoom, quick tap shutter, prioritization focus over speed, video recording pro photo mode, okay, which I have right now. So touch and hold the shutter button to record videos in photo mode. Time and multi-photo option, you can choose 
how many pictures and what is the timer and then you have also other things like the dof adapter correction the anamorphic lens correction if you use things like this also hdr 10 plus which you can use instead of hdr when you shoot hdr videos with this toggle here and last but not least guys you're able to do some audio monitoring if you connect this to bluetooth or let's say usb headphones save videos to external storage remember usb-c very quick port camera timeout dimming the screen while recording and also getting clean previews on hdr displays without the layout of the camera so if you ask me camera assistant definitely go and do this and yeah the other thing that you can do is sub for the channel if you enjoyed content like this stay safe vst over and bye